typical LA morning traffic. All right, so why did I get a regular job again? More importantly, why am I even filming this one? It has nothing to do with entrepreneurship. I guess I want to show you guys, show you guys the journey off. This is my go. It's about me bouncing back, taking that step back, uh, going back to the corporate world for a bit, making sure things are handled, you know, uh, making sure things are handled that takes care of my family, everything, uh, while still running Vision Paradox, while still dancing, but now with antics, I won't be touring for a bit, I'll still be going to events, teaching dance tutorials, building the YouTube as much as I can. And um, for this next year, these next series of vlogs, you're going to be seeing me aim to meeting time. Uh, now it's time to head over to uh, this other company called, it's definitely a lot closer to home. It's gonna be less hectic with traffic and everything. This place is a little fancy. What's up, man? I'm Rob. I'm Rob. Hey, man. Good to meet you. Bring your whole little rig there, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, water would be great. Waiting. So, but this is just like I like the setup. The nice microphone. Yeah. Nice viewfinder. This is really, really sweet. So, Ever. what do you talk about usually uh, for when the podcast? When I for, for the when I vlog, it's just pretty much uh, either whatever truth is coming out for me. Sometimes like a, a something dance related, or most of the time when I'm just going on a rant, it's like a ton about some challenge I'm facing. And how the mindset I'm going along with it, like, it's it's like I know I often say it's like it's okay to feel pissed off or anything like that. But if you stay in it, then you're not going to be able to move forward. Yeah. I, yeah. I try to have that kind of mindset. I try like this month. I've actually been in the process of moving because my old landlord uh, is trying to kick like uh, like oh, as a family friend, he was hooking me up with rent, and then he's like, all right, gotta get out. And so I've been in, like, what the f, dude? So I felt I feel kind of like angry and bitter like I felt that because I was like we knew each other for a long time and now you're kicking me out so we can get more more rent money mm. but um, I was angry about that and it's more like the what is life calling from me right now where I need to evolve mm. it's like because I can come bitch and complain about it but this is there's random moments that I know that have that happened in my life that requires evolution and if I stayed the same, I probably wouldn't get. I would probably get the same results. So what is this moment in time truly calling for me? So yeah. I could have been like, I could have pointed fingers like, "Fuck that asshole" and all that. And then that's why I kind of share. It's like it's what uh, some shit that I went through because I know people go through some shit, and this is how I'm trying to process it. And it's totally cool to feel pissed off and whatever you're doing. Or well, I'm happy right now. So so, <laughs> so and uh, yeah. So we'll just start it. Yeah. Hi, I'm Maximini, and I had the privilege to meet Emroy today. He's making a vlog, and he told me to share a couple of words. Um, I just met him. We had an interview. I'm looking to hire a social media analysis. We really like what he's doing, and I, this is post our interview. Uh, first, I didn't know what to feel because he's got a ponytail. Like, uh, an analysis with the beard a ponytail. Too? The, the, the beard is fine. I'm Persian. We're used to big beards, but... I gotta say, uh, I'm excited. He seems very knowledgeable. This was a really good chat. Your personality is so down to earth and so honest. I'm excited because he's a dancer. He understands the entertainment business. And we're gonna give it a try. Today, I'm excited and happy. Next week, when we do another vlog and he doesn't <laughs> perform, it might be a whole another video. So. We'll take it. We'll, we'll, we'll see next. We'll one see step, what happens. Yeah, one step at a time. So I'm, I'm glad I got the opportunity to come and hang out and 
si... And there's no money involved. He's not going to get paid. He's going to learn how to tell a joke, and I'm going to learn how to do break. <laughs> That's oh, what we're exchanging. That actually freaks me out. Like, they're having to like tell a joke in front of people because like what? Trust if, like... me, it freaks me out to dance too. I'm lanky and tall and <laughs> on or like just totally on balance. So I actually I want, I'm curious for one thing. Sure. Um, because you're you're one of the biggest comedians in the world. What would you say to someone who wants to start, but everyone's saying, like, you think you're funny? Or your everything? gut feeling knows. If your gut feeling says you made for it, you know it. You're not going to listen to anybody. I, I, same thing for me. Nobody ever thought I could have a career. I truly thought I'm going to be a star. And, and, and even though in the beginning it was so difficult and I was not funny and I wasn't good and I was rusty and I was, I was trying to learn about myself and all that stuff, but deep down I always knew that I have a chance in this, in this business. So, you know, that energy gives you the persistence you need to make it happen. Mm -hmm. And, and that's for, that goes for any um, art or business or position or any, anything. You believe you're good at something, you put massive amount of hard work and effort into it, you're guaranteed success. Mm. I really believe it. Yeah. It's all just forgetting the naysayers and just going for it. Yeah. Like, I, I wake up at 6 a.m., I work till 11 o'clock at night, and I go to bed. So that's all. I mean, I work hard. So there's, no, I, there's I, no easy way about no, it. No, no, no. But that's like, where you, I get the energy from the passion for the job, to, for, to the passion I have for comedy. I, 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 okay, I'm, like, I'm getting a little bit more curious. Like, what, during the points where you felt like, like damn, I'm trying to figure this all out, like, what, how did you deal with this, the, any self that you may have experienced like you know like there's some things like, like for me uh, when I was pursuing everything with dance I was like oh hell yeah I'm gonna do this but when I was bo bombing at auditions I'm like am I made for this it's like how would you yeah, deal with I, that I still of? bomb at auditions and, and I find another way mm. if I if I'm not gonna book a job uh, off of an audition I'll I'll make a project mm. and then I put myself in Mm. If you're going to do these dances and then they're not hiring you, they're saying you're not good, but you know you're good. Yeah. You go hire a theater, put the dance group together, work extra hard, put up your dance. I just think um, uh, there's n nobody in any in whether dance, whether it's um, acting, whether it's comedy, uh, any sort of um, artistic background. It takes years to get good at it. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Yeah. As an artist. You learn about yourself, you learn about your psyche, you learn about the, the, the art itself. The combination of this makes you, makes you a dynamic performer, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And this doesn't, this takes time. So mm. you have to be patient and, and your belief in yourself has to be so strong that it'll allow you to hang in there that long for it to pay off. Mm. So if you hang in there that long, you'll figure out a solution. Mm -hmm. It's not rocket science. And even rocket scientists found the solution. So why not <laughs> yeah, us? That's true. Yeah, yeah, so, we find a solution. Do you feel like people give up too soon? No. Or are they just didn't. I don't hang think on they it? give up too soon. Oh, I think, I think people have to try different things to find out what's their journey. Mm. Some people want to become an actor. They try it, and then halfway through, they become a, the best producer ever. They become the best casting director ever. Mm. Some dancers come in, and they become the best choreographer ever. You gotta trust your instinct. You gotta trust the voice inside you. And and if you meditate and you really like just deep thinking and you go, where am I? How do I feel about it? Oh, I see potential here. I see I'm really good at this. When you find that, your journey is showing itself and you, you find the path and you follow it. Mm, I like that one. Because people assume start off with one thing and then, they review, then the journey kind of shows them yeah the, the you feel it you feel it we're all here for a reason we're all here to to execute something and, and you know some people's journeys are so clear some people's are not but if you if you really put your heart and soul to it it'll show it'll come to you like clear as 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 anything you know you know what do they say clear as ice is ice clear? clear. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, thank you, sir. Appreciate you your time. Me. Again, pleasure, man. Alright, so we friggin' mess. So I think the the interview went pretty
pretty well. Let me see if I'm in focus here. I think the interview went pretty well. Uh, vibing, we vibe each other with each other pretty well. Uh, we both know what it's like to be artists. Like he's at obviously in a very, very, very high level compared to compared to where I'm at. Uh, so, but it, uh, but uh, that I think that was the advantage that I had over the others because I had that the I had the the experience in the background as an artist, as a dancer. So, and. I have I had not just the technical ability but I also had the artistic ability I had and um, I I'm not trying to toot my own horn but I think the biggest thing to deep dive into things that you're interested in because you never know how it's going to support you in any freaking way my animation background has helped with my social media stuff has helped with my and my dance stuff and performing arts has given me uh, an opportunity to stand out above a lot, a lot of other people. So don't deny yourself experiences. Uh, always invest in yourself, as, even though it's a, it's scary. The only way people are gonna truly value you is if you value yourself.